Hi. I'm sitting here drinking one of the most legendary champagnes of all time. Actually one of the first single vineyard champagnes made. Grand Cendré from Aube, from Urville, made by Drapier family and today owned and run by Michel Drapier, one of the really strong innovators of champagne and one of the greatest houses down in the Aube district. Grand Cendré is what's so special about that place. First of all, it's the most chalky hill in the entire orb. It's not full rocks, it's small stones, very superficial on the ground, uh, where you, you plant it with slightly more Pinot Noir than Chardonnay. But in the white one, which I'm tasting right now, I haven't really started tasting it, it's the 2010 version of the white Grand Sandré. It's always around 55% Pinot Noir and 45% Chardonnay. There's another one, even more rare, Grand Sandré Rosé, which is 93% Pinot Noir. So the hill is a Pinot Noir place, but together with the big notes of Pinot Noir, you will also obtain some freshness and elegance from the Chardonnay. So let's taste 2010. Immediately very strong typicity of the terroir. And what is that? It's a contradictory notes between the very ripe, fresh fruit, orange kind of fruit, uh, a lot of ne nectarine, peaches, apricot, etc. But also a very dark, almost um, slightly funky when, it's, when you just open it. But it's very much based on a cabbage. Uh, especially some really well-cooked cabbage together with licorice, red apples and some tar. And that combination, when, they, when it's young, it really goes into two directions. So normally I think the nose needs at least 10 more years to be entirely focused and harmonic. But the taste normally is smooth, elegant, and very concentrated from the start. Let's let's try. Can you hear the building workers down here, together with the birds? Mm. Exactly like I said, first attack is so rich, so big. Then comes this fruity, silky layer. And in the finish, much more acidity than you expect and wonderful terroir. So chalky, despite coming from the southern parts of Champagne in all. A great wine again, 2010, not so typical for the vintage because the vintage is more a caramel, soft, easygoing style. This is a Van de Garde. You need to keep it at least 10 years.